Hiruzen Sarutobi by KM Studios. Let's go. Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles back with another statue showcase for you of Hiruzen Sarutobi, the third Hokage. Now this is made by KM Studio and they plan on doing all the Hokages over time. This is my favorite type of statue because it's both 1-8 scale and it showcases both the character and a jutsu at the same time. Now this statue isn't taken from a scene directly but it's pretty darn close. It's themed around the tuning exams fight between Aruchimaru and the third Hokage. You'll see in some clips later kind of what it pulls from. Special thanks to everyone who continuously comes back to support the channel, watching a video from start to finish, liking, sharing, commenting. If it wasn't for you, wouldn't be here today. So look forward to a 1K subscriber. Thank you video coming out soon. There might be a chance of a statue giveaway. We'll see. If you are not a subscriber and you enjoy statue showcases, unboxings, tutorials on how to enhance your display cases, or just random stuff like Pokemon card back openings, do not hesitate to hit that subscribe button, notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. Enough talk, let's go ahead and jump on in and see this gorgeous statue. Now I love me some good box art and that's what KM Studio did. Look at the fire on the bottom. That's because this statue is fire and the gorgeous outline of a uh, Hiruzen right there looks like it comes straight from the manga. This statue does not come with an addition size nameplate. Instead on the bottom of the round circular plate base, they actually have the serial number on the bottom there with the studio logo. More and more studios are beginning to separate a lot of pieces from the base because during the shipping process, there's a lot of breakages that could happen because of that. And as you can see right here, the base is rather plain and missing a lot of different pieces. The main part of this base looks like it was ripped right from the battle, uh, straight from the rooftop with all the tiles, mud, fire, uh, wood pieces from Hashirama reanimated coming right out. This statue heavily relies on magnets to hold everything together, so that's why you see all those craters and crevices where things connect and fit into place. Earth style, Great Mud River! <laughs> Is that all you've got? Far from it! Earth style, Earth Dragon Bomb! I don't know about you, but this was one of my favorite battles from the original Naruto series. This was the first high-level shinobi battle that we had a chance to experience and see firsthand between especially a Hokage throwing it down. I love what they did here with the mud dragon head where it actually looks like it's wet. I don't know what they did specifically, like maybe a gloss coat on top of the paint after it was done, but it actually looks wet on the muddy parts in this statue. You can see a small circular outline in the back there. That's the very strong magnet that will help it attach to the base. I thought it was really cool that they added all the different wood particles and pieces onto the statue. It was a real throwback to Hashirama being reanimated and using the deep forest jutsu to create all the trees in that battle. This specific piece is held on by a steel rod instead of a magnet. The third Hokage's staple giant shuriken was done very well. It has a metallic paint job to it and all these different battle marks, as you can see on here, outlined on all the different tips. I will never forget when he removed his Hokage outfit to reveal the Shinobi battle armor, as you can see here. There is a straight up cool factor to the old type of battle armor that they used, as you can see on Hashirama, Tobirama, Hiruzen, and Madara. It was very nice that the studio gave an alternative head to use if for some reason you wanted to display him with the Ido Tensei eyes.
The back headband piece is very sturdy. Seems like it's made of plastic or PVC. Now on to taking a look at the clear resin fire pieces. Again, this is one of the coolest things about this statue is it has a bunch of different layers to it of depth because of the paint coats on the different pieces. So the mud dragon looks wet while the tile roofs are flat and the flames are clear. It just all goes together to make the statue look amazing. This next piece right here has a lot of different things going on there with a lot of different grooves. So there's some magnetic pieces on here that allow it to attach to one of the pieces of flame. And then there's a steel bar that attaches to another one. And then this part up here, which is used for the thin flame that's shooting from Haruzan's mouth, looking like he's shooting the fire. Something to mention here is because all the flame pieces are primarily held together by magnets, there's a level of uh, kind of flimsiness to it all. If you want to get the flame coming out of the third Hokage's mouth positioned properly, you're going to have to move it around a little bit. Monkey King Enma, one of the coolest summon packs in the whole series. Uh, I, I wish, man, did I wish that they made a sculpt for him in this statue. Unfortunately, they didn't. Um, Oniri Creations is going to be having a 1-6 scale statue, as you can see here, that is going to be showcasing him. Uh, but unfortunately, this statue decided to go with the extendable pole version of him, which I I'm totally fine with. It looks gorgeous. It fits. It might have been too much if they added uh, Enma himself. But uh, wow, wow, what a cool, cool pact. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by the channel. Hope you enjoyed the showcase. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this statue. It is going to be one of my all-time favorites because of all the different layers of depth it has added to it. And plus, this is one of my favorite all-time high-level shinobi battles. As always, everybody, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.